Okay, it is time to finish spot welding this battery. I received my 0.1 millimeter um, nickel from Amazon. This is 0.1 millimeter by 8 millimeter, and I think it fits uh, just about perfectly in this battery. I did also get some um, 0.1 millimeter by 5 millimeter, but I think this is a little narrow. And, um, you know, this is already relatively thin, so I think, you know, to help our current carrying you know, capabilities, we're going to have to keep a bit of width since we've given up thickness. Um, but anyway, so this is some 0.1 millimeter, and I think we're going to start uh, soldering this, or spot welding this thing. Um, I'll start on the center one here. And uh, I have it in red mode. Red mode means that um, when the two needles touch, they are going to spark. So. You gotta be careful because these two needles are ready to go, but uh, let's just uh, line this up, put a needle on there, and touch here, and there we go. I'm kinda of doing, you know, four or five spot welds per, per battery. There you go, uh, that, that is welded. So um, I guess let's keep going, we'll do this side next. And actually I need to double check which are the sides that I am joining. So I am joining these two sides together. Okay, um, let's check here. The PCB is hot but not burning hot. Uh, these welds have all done a good weld. Um, not, not mad at these welds at all. Obviously I'm putting more welds than normally you do with the bigger spot machine, but uh, you know, not everyone is a perfect weld and so you just do a few extra, but you end up with uh, quite a nice, uh, you know, quite a nice uh, spot weld when it's uh, assembled. Okay, so next thing we have to do is uh, put the uh, cross hatches on. Um, these will connect these two sets of batteries in series. Um, so, you know, some and actually some people were asking, does it solder um, nickel to nickel? And the answer is absolutely. Um, it does a really nice job actually nickel to nickel. I mean that is that is definitely uh, spot welded. Okay, there we go. These um, these batteries are soldered, and they are. Um, um, so you can see I've already done the underside. Um, this is pack one. The negative joins on to the positive of this pack. These packs come out here. The negative of this pack joins to the positive of this pack and comes out here. And this is your main negative, and this is your main positive. I still need to put a row across here, which I'll do quickly, and then uh, we should be able to voltage test this battery, and then we'll be able to um, 
um, put a BMS on it and finish out the battery. Okay, there we go. That is, uh, that's complete. Let's get a voltmeter and check this pack. Since this is a um, 3S battery, we should get 12.6 volts. Let's, here's the voltmeter. Can you see it? Uh, there you can see it. Okay, so that is one main side of the battery. Here's the other main side of the battery. 12.42, perfect. So the batteries are almost charged, just not quite charged, but 12.42 is perfect. Okay, so this battery is connected and hot. Um, so next we've got to put on a BMS and uh, I'll uh, bring you right back uh, when I start working on the BMS. Although let me, let me do a quick, uh, let me do a couple things for a couple people. Um, some people asked if you could spot weld a fuse wire. Well, here is a, you know, here is a resistor, and I use these as my fuse uh, wires. Um, I don't know if you can spot weld this. We will try. This is very, you know, this is a very small needle, uh, and you're going to have to, you know, squish the squish the needle onto the fuse wire just right. This is not going to be easy, but let's try. Okay. I think I have it. Let's see what happens. Okay. Um, oh, it's sort of stuck, but not really. Let's try that again. Okay. Um, it pretty much blew out the uh, resistor leg, if I'm being honest. I don't know if that's just because I had a bad connection or if the resistor leg, trying to put that voltage through the resistor leg just blows out the resistor leg. Um, sort of. You can sort of solder on resistor legs, but realistically, if you're doing um, spot welding, you don't really use resistor legs when you do spot welding. It's just not practical. Someone else asked if you can, you know, if you can solder to a bus bar. We can, again, we can try it. But uh, I think you're just going to blow out the resistor leg with the, with the amperage. So let's try it. Well, oh, hold on. Let's get a piece of bus bar here. There's a resistor leg. <laughs> so yeah, it just, it just blows out the leg of the, uh, of the resistor leg. So you are not realistically going to be... Um, spot welding fuse fuse wires with a spot welder. Um, a the fuse wire just gets destroyed when the when the spot welder hits when the current hits, um, and on top of that, it's just very that's very thin um, wire to be trying to put the top of the needle on. So uh, yeah, I think I don't think we're going to be um, using fuse wire with a spot welder anytime soon. All right, I'll pause this quick, get my BMS ready, and then we'll uh, attach the BMS. Okay, let's uh, put in our BMS. Um, I think, uh, I don't think it's practical to continue to spot weld once it's time to get to the BMS. You're probably gonna have to solder on leads at that point. So that is what I am gonna do. This is my main negative over here. I need to throw a little solder on top here. And I need to attach a negative wire here, which I will turn quickly. And actually that leads a little long. Okay, so that's your main negative. I, now, <laughs> the main, the, 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 the negative goes right to here. So actually this is a really short wire. Um, I am using a little beefier wire on the first balance lead and the last balance lead because um, the way this BMS is designed, the, the balance connection is also your main power takeoff connection. So your, your, your battery negative and your battery positive are, you know, they're not just for balance, they're also for power takeoff. So 
um, I'm gonna use a fairly beefy wire for the power takeoff so so that this BMS can can um, you know support some decent power this is a I think a 25 amp BMS so uh, I want capable of 20 you know one ca uh, cable capable of 25 amps okay so battery negative is done now battery one I'm gonna use a, a thinner wire um, since I, 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 I you know that this is just for balance not for power takeoff and if that's battery negative then battery one is actually gonna come up here and I can put a little solder over here okay that's fine so battery one over here okay that's on there and that's gonna come up to here snip that and let's use my Knipex to strip the wire okay it's stripped and let's I'm not even gonna bother to turn it I'm just gonna push it into the solder and good we have a we have battery one connection okay battery two connection over here need another piece of wire which I just had and I just lost I'm sure you guys can see it but I can't okay there we go battery two um, I want to tin this a little bit okay your battery two connection okay battery two connection is actually coming down to this side over here and somewhere on these um, leads over here okay so this will come down to here and I'm going to okay I'm going to turn this lead and I'm going to attach this lead here okay so there's our balance 2 lead and now just our main positive which will connect over here and this is our main positive over here so we'll throw a bit of solder on top here and here's some positive wire let me turn this let me trim this down a little bit and turn this okay t attach this here okay that is attached and that is coming just over to here now this is usually when I end up shorting something because I have a soldering iron my strippers wire all in my hands and I usually end up shorting something but so far so good okay the BMS is now in theory attached these are our power takeoff wires so I need to attach a main negative and a main positive here which I will do okay that'll be our uh, that is my main okay there we go that's my positive and here is my negative Turn these okay this is our main negative turn this I'm gonna trim a little bit of this off and this is our main positive okay we have positive and negative wires attached let's get our battery case these I'm gonna bring up through here like this I'm gonna slide this down now these two leads are alive so I gotta be careful but I'm going to now I'm gonna chop off uh, how much wire do I want I'm gonna chop off about that much trim one at a time just so that you don't short these leads because these are alive turn this here's the lid here's our main negative which I've already pre tinned I'm going to attach this to here okay that is attached let's grab your main positive okay and let's put a little
Okay, those are attached. This battery is, in theory, live. Now we'll have to see um, if this BMS is awake. I had that issue on the last BMS where it wasn't awake. This is a different BMS and we'll have to see if it's awake or not. Let's see, can you see the voltmeter? Nope, but you can now, okay. Ah, there we go, 12.42 uh, 12 volts. So this battery is awake and complete and the BMS is active. Um, so, that's it. I mean, this little spot welder absolutely does spot weld some 0.1, maybe some 0.15 if you've got a little bit of patience. Um, but yeah, I mean, for building small batteries efficiently and quickly, it's, it's a nice way of doing it. I'm, ha I'm glad I got it. It does work and um, it, is quick, it definitely is quicker than soldering, no doubt about it. The only downside now is there's no fuse in here. I like soldering because of all the fuse wires and I am notorious at uh, accidentally shorting out things. Um, like I said, I start to rush and I start to have wires in my hand and I end up touching something and blowing out a bunch of fuses. So I do like fuse wires on my big packs, um, but I must admit that the solder, uh, you know, using the spot welder goes pretty quickly. So. Um, yeah, this battery is built and, and active and I'm, I'm happy. So uh, yeah, I mean, if you're looking for a cheap spot welder and you're going to do some smaller batteries like this, maybe an e-bike, uh, this is definitely a cheap way to go.